Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio and another video for the hashtag CAC School Art uh, YouTube art um, video crawl. So what it is is if you put hashtag CAC School Art in the search bar on YouTube, you will find lots of videos relating to school art. Um, I decided, you know, in my mind I was thinking back to school, though it's a little early uh, to think about back to school. And decided, you know, I'd seen some canvas things being done by a couple of YouTubers and I wanted to try it. And I found this pencil case and I'm like, well that's back to school, so we are going to decorate a pencil case. So the first thing I did was um, I used Ocean Breeze and just used my brayer and lightly did some paint across there. Now this isn't um, fabric paint, which would probably be a lot more preferable, um, but I didn't have it and I didn't want to spend the extra money to go buy some. So I just decided this is not a washable pencil case. This is just, you know, a fun one if it gets dirty, you know, you can like hand spot clean it or something. But I'm just using my collection of stencils and stamps and things to create just sort of a collage of different elements on this piece of canvas. I did put cardboard inside. Um, I wasn't sure that it would go through, but it was, um, it's a loose weave canvas. It's not you know, a real tight weave. So it actually did go through onto the cardboard. So if you do try this um, yourself, you might want to make sure you put a little cardboard in between just so that uh, paint doesn't stick and glue the thing closed. Um, and especially depending on how juicy your paint or whatever medium you're using is. And some of mine were um, wetter than others, so some went through and some didn't. And this is just a paper tube. It's smaller than a Add the toilet paper roll, but I thought it would be fun to make some circles. And then I decided I wanted to fill in some of the circles. Um, and the canvas is not prepared in any way, so it does soak the paint in. Um, it was kind of hard to really have control until I got a ton of paint on there. smeared together colors. I decided I needed another one so I would just do it without the ring around it. Because we're going to stamp that ring back over the top to just to give it some def a defined edge. There we go. Felt like it still needed more, so we're gonna use one of my handmade stamps that I created. Um, as of yet, I have not posted that video. Um, if I do post it before this one goes up, I will link it so you can see how that was made. And they were a lot of fun. So easy to make. So. They don't stamp as well on canvas as they do on regular paper, but uh, fun. Decided I wanted some black around there, and I didn't want to try risking double stamping that pattern, so we're just going to use a small brush and add a little black. I felt like it needed, you know, some more contrast. And it's probably because the color of the canvas, you know, is that light, tan, natural color. I don't have, I felt like I didn't really have a light and a dark. So we're adding the dark. I 
just felt like I needed more color. So we're just mixing it right on the table. But it's a craft mat and it cleans off so easy. It's so nice. So these videos are for the hashtag event and I will be out of town during the hashtag event so I am going to be scheduling these to go up but when I get back hopefully um, you'll have commented and I'll reply then um, when I get back from my vacation and I'm hoping to take some art supplies and a video camera and maybe I'll get some videotaping done on my trip. So I decided I needed more scribbly lines, so this is a um, writer by Americana, I believe. And it's just scribble, it doesn't say anything really, except for right there, that was M. Shelley. And I decided I wanted, I don't know, I just felt like it needed more, more layers, more something. So I go around all the circles. I decided to do the scribbly circles around things. I kind of like that in some of the pieces I've seen. So I decided I would go for that. So here's this one. I did do it with the white pen as well. You didn't see me do it. But I felt like it needed um, some white. And now shall we do the other side? Because you can't leave one side blank, right? So I did let it dry. This time I'm using uh, Tuscan Teal. It's a lot darker color. See, so you can see the ripples from the cardboard when I do that. Um, I decided that I did not like the darker on there. I think the lighter is better and maybe a white even um, because it just starts out looking dingy, if you know what I mean. It doesn't have the bright intensity. Um, as the other side did, it just um, just really felt quite quite dingy. I decided to use my natural sponge to do the uh, honeycomb pattern on here, and um, that doesn't give you as crisp a uh, print as the makeup sponge, which I think worked better. So I'm adding a little white to the blue. I I want to. I want a little bit brighter, hoping that adding white to things will brighten it up a little bit, or lighten it up a little bit. And again, this is one of those handmade stamps that I created, just by cutting fun foam and gluing it onto a piece of cardboard. Too much pink there. And we're going to add some circles. I just want more layers. I want to create lots of layers. I think that makes it look more interesting. I was really tempted when I was doing this to stencil with my finger, but I think I probably would have smeared it underneath the circles. So 
it's best to use a sponge. <laughs> There, I like those ones. They're kind of bright. And now I've decided to put some circles on this side, just like I did on the other side. Only this time I didn't stamp first. I made my circles first. And then I couldn't find my little circle stamp, so I do the toilet paper roll. So these circles end up being a lot bigger. And there really isn't any rhyme or reason to this. I'm just creating layers is all. And I decided to pull out another of my homemade stamps. This one is kind of a swirly pattern. is berry wine is the name of that color and it's not sticking very well. well that one was better I can do it off the edge that one was better so I decide I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna try and figure out if I can line that right back up. Well, yeah, that wasn't too bad. There we go, just to darken it. There we go. And I'm sorry, part of that cut off, but I'm just doing my triangle stencil with some white just to give it yet some more layers. decided you can't see my honeycomb, purple honeycomb pattern anymore, so we're just going to stencil over it with white. Like I said, that first layer of the Tuscan Teal just gave it a grungy effect that um, made me want to lighten everything up and keep lightening everything up. Trying to go for a little swirly var variegation of color. Not liking what I'm seeing, but I keep working at it. I decided I needed to know what size it was going to be, so I go around with the toilet paper tube to make my circles. And then I can fill up the circles. Decided I want the berry wine color instead. That paint has gone stiff and I don't think it's that old. I know this video is a little bit longer. Um, it's like two projects in one day. But I didn't want to repeat the same thing two days in a row, so I figured, you know, I'd do it all in one. I don't know if you can hear the it sounds like cannon fire. Fireworks are going off. It is the 4th of July. Um, I think it's after the noise ordinance enforcement. I think it's after 11 p.m. But um, it's the 4th. I think on the 4th you can go till midnight or something. 
So I've got fireworks going on all over my neighborhood. I was outside watching them for a little while. Then I decided to better come in and get this done because I won't be around next weekend and then the next week I'm gone. So those are good and dark and contrasty and I decided they might be a little too dark and contrasty. So I smear light over them. I eh, probably should have left them dark. But they did look okay in the end. They don't look great now, but later on, they look better. This side, I think, was a hot mess. This could be a hot mess Monday video for sure. So now I'm going around with the uh, Black Rider from Americana. really just kind of freehand circling and then we're gonna add a little bit of white get us some accents on those crazy circles we did I decided if I needed some more scribbly lines we had them on the last one, we've got to have them on this one. Sounds like the grand finale of the fireworks. And there we go, see? Not too bad in the end. I hope you liked that. I, um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to share it if you want. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.